Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. So today we're going to be talking about a breakout for HCMC that could happen very soon. The reason for this is because of the technical analysis. We can look at the 50 MA, also because of the upcoming catalyst. But lastly, it's also because of a list that has been given out, which ranks HCMC as the 13th on the breakout list for that own individual firm and then we're going to talk about the short data later on as well so make sure you guys watch until the very end because i think this video could be beneficial for those of you who try to swing trade hcmc in the upcoming days as always show your support for hcmc by smashing that like button down below on um, that let's get straight into it so firstly let's talk about this list let's get this over and done with so this is done by a website and pretty much what it is is that they have these algorithms running for their websites and they pretty much just scan for stocks and then give it a rating and you know talk about if this stock is going to break out and so for this list they put hcmc as the 13th on the potential stocks to break out so healthier choices management corp ticket symbol hcmc and so it's ranked 13th and now hcmc is ranked 13th on the breakout list everyone has different reasons for why a stock will break out the basis behind their rankings is due to what the algorithm is saying and so it seems that for their algorithm it looks like it's HMC is building up for a breakout soon. Now, I have said that a breakout should come soon due to the news releasing for HCMC in December, but also we have been seeing a lot of positive catalysts for HCMC recently. And so with this particular list, it could mean we can potentially expect a breakout very soon. Now, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so do take advice with a grain of salt, but also just a quick um, you know, mention here, if you guys do want to swing trade some of the other stocks that I have covered on this channel, you know, we've seen stocks that have made 40% in a just matter of three trading days that I called out literally three days before that, before the breakout has happened. So make sure you guys check out those videos. But pretty much you guys can see here, what they're saying is that on the 13th is that it's most likely to break out on is ranked 13th. Now, I think that with what's happening recently with HTMC, we could be seeing that breakout sooner than expected. Now, what I originally said for HTMC is that we could potentially see a breakout, you know, around December. Because why is it December? Make sure you guys know. I've talked about this on my channel. If you guys want a more detailed view, check it those out. But the reason why I said December is because we have two potential, one definite, but one potential lawsuit catalyst. So the first definite catalyst for the lawsuit i'm sure a lot of you have already heard this for the ones who are new is the pattern review so obviously pm asked for a pattern review and that has made a lot of sellers um happen to have made a lot of investors leave hcmc so the 15th of june was when or rather the 14th of june was when the pattern review was asked and ever since then we obviously see those um sellers happening we see people leaving hcmc because they think that it's going to take very long and so with this pattern review we could gain a lot of buyers back into to HMC. So that's why I think it's important. And you know, that is on the 21st of December. It could be sooner, but there has to be a reply by the December the 21st. So that's why that's the first big major catalyst for HMC. Now, the second one is we could be seeing a reply on the motion from the judge himself because how he replied to the previous motion was using a kind of a three month time frame. And so we are taking that past historical data and we're applying it here. Now, this is not confirmed. That's why I'm saying this is potential. And so December could be very big. It already is big with what's going to happen with obviously the pattern review, but this could be even bigger if we were to get a reply on the motion. And so that's why I originally said that December, we we're going to have a breakout for HCMC. But now, you know, we have the algorithm saying that HCMC is going to break out soon. We're also, again, guys, you guys like to see this 50 MA right now. Now, what's one thing I always said about HCMC is that with any stocks, in fact, not just HCMC, the price always gravitates towards the 50 MA. You know, you see the MA coming close towards the price one way or another. One of the reasons for this, and for those of you who have been a long time subscribers, you know, I back in April have said that, look, this is a major opportunity because the MA is so, at a very high price. You know, we are definitely going to see it going up. And so, you know, again, it's not financial advice, but if anyone listened to me back then and set up by order, whether it's 0 0.010 or 0 0.011, for this sake, we use 0 0.011, and then set a sell order at the very top where the 50 MA is at 0 0.0020, which is again also a resistance level that I gave, you guys would have made, you know, 90%. And then later on, if you guys set another buy order at 27, you know, even higher where you're looking at 151. If you guys did manage to sell the top, it's obviously over 200, 300% gain. So that is the previous kind of swing I gave out. Another swing I gave out for HCMC was the 26th of July. And you know, that I made 100% on for those of you who've been keeping up to date. But what I'm seeing now is that with this 50 MA coming, 
closer to the price you know pretty much we're seeing the price touching here it's obviously acting as a resistance you know one thing you can notice here was the price touching the 50 ma and then rejecting so we saw the price down here you know it was finally we saw a turn in kind of the price for hcmc but after that we see the price going down and so with it going right now with the price at where it's at right now and 50 ma being here if we see a break above the 50 ma we're definitely look at looking at a ma reversal what ma reversal is is when the price ends above the 50 ma meaning that it broke the resistance of that ma and that normally indicates a lot of buyers coming in and now the 50 ma starts acting as a support and so if we see this price, you know, because we have this setup that is coming, that is setting up itself. So we have to obviously keep an eye out for this. So if we do see the price, you know, going above this 50 MA, then and staying above it, then we could be looking at a 50 MA reversal, which is also a MA breakout. So that's why, you know, there are a lot of things that right now, even in the short term, that's indicating a breakout is happening for HCMC. Now, there are also other patterns, you know, um, rather other catalysts, you know, where, we, where we're talking about the financials coming up very soon, the 2nd of November. You know, we have the RJR news, we have PM with their, you know, pattern, um, infringement against rjr if that were to turn out our way it wouldn't be big in the fact that you know, you know in the fact that we could see a 200 percent gain on hmc but it would be big meaning that the pattern is still ongoing which is something that you know further solidifies you know what is going to happen with the pattern you know all of that with pm and hmc with the lawsuit still ongoing so there's a lot of things to be watching out for and that's why you know right now we're looking at a lot of things if we're looking over here at the short data uh, it's pretty much very simple right now you know we're looking at the 19th of october but we're looking at 26.59 percentage of volume shorted you know 34.16 37 so we're in the 20 to 40 range typically around the 30 ish kind of range and so the short data is looking quite normal but what that is it pretty much you know it happens a lot of the time but we are if we kind of go back here and we look at the 43 percent this is on the 13th of october so this is around this particular day and now you guys can see that when you see the kind of the short percentages going higher you tend to see more buyers that's because people actually don't you know what it is is that people understand right now hmc is at a golden price at least for them and you know even for me i think it's at a golden price and so we're okay with people you know we're okay with hmc being at this current price because we understand that Essentially, HCMC hasn't shown its value in the fact that, you know, there hasn't been anything that allows them to show their value. And so, you know, one could obviously, the reason why HCMC is not at a higher price is because they are pricing at where they are right now. You could argue, you know, why is it not priced in for the speculation of the lawsuit? But my argument is that it's already been priced in. You know, its current price now has somewhat already priced in and reflects, you know, the speculation of the lawsuit. And so that's why I'm okay with seeing at this price. But what they haven't priced in is obviously the potential price it could be after the lawsuit has finally finalized. And so, you know, everyone is happy with HCMC at its current price because, you know, we're getting them very cheap. You know, even if we see, because you guys got to understand, if the lower the price you can buy at, we could, you know, if for those of you who don't even believe in HCMC no more, for those of you who don't believe in the lawsuit, now this is for the one who don't, I personally believe in it, you know, but this is for, for the ones who don't, you know, if you don't believe that it will ever touch 0 0.0065 again, if it won't even touch 0 0.0027, which I highly doubt it, but if you guys think that, right, and you manage, you know, if you guys don't think you can reach that price, and you guys think it's super difficult to reach that price, which we, we take it from that, right? If you guys can manage to average your price down, whether it's 0 0.05, whether it's 0 0.006, whether it's 0 0.007, one thing you gotta account for at the current market cap, which is around 160 million for HCMC, it's very easily doable for the price to reach 200, 300 million market cap. We're not even talking about the billions, we're talking about 200 to 300 million market cap. And so if you guys can manage to average down your price at 0 0.006, 0 0.007, we'll use the highest for now, but you know, I have personally averaged down very low. I know a lot of people have as well, but we'll, for this case, we'll use 0 0.007. You know, we could easily see a double in the market cap right now because how low HCMC already is, and we could easily see it hitting 0 0.0014. 0 0.014 is actually a very easy price for HCMC to hit. Even if we don't talk about 0 0.014, you know, 0 0.0012 is also a very easy price to hit. So if we talk about it hitting 0 0.012, that is still a 70% gain nevertheless. And so, you know, 
there's a lot of opportunities for HMC if you can manage to kind of average down your share price on HMC. And that's why I think it's very important. Obviously, you know, make sure you understand why you're averaging down, make sure you understand, you know, what sort of objective you're going for, whether it's for long term, whether it's for swing trade. I personally like to swing trade when it comes to op these opportunities, but I do have majority of my shares kind of just staying there for the long term. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to like that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys from my HMC and comment down below what you want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.